Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let's get ready to our set. Hey, welcome, welcome. It's so great to have you here today. We're just going to shout out the this is funny. Come in, come out, let's go. From the very beginning, you have loved us, known us, called us your very own. You are our Savior, and we'll live our lives for you. You are our King, so we'll sing, sing, sing. Your praise 
Hey, Royal Kids, welcome back. Once again, my name is Elizabeth, and I am so excited to be in this Sweet and Sour series. As you can tell, we're back in our sweet shop. This looks pretty good, right? Do you see anything that you might like? I know I do. Well, all month long, we are talking about our emotions and our feelings. And this week, in week two, we are gonna be talking about times when we feel sad. Have you ever felt sad? I know I have. But it actually kind of makes me think of, believe it or not, candy. And you know wanna know why? There's never a time when I've had a bad day that candy has not helped. Whether it's a good day, bad day, rainy day, whatever it is, candy is always, always a great thing that when I have it, it always makes things better. But when we think about the word, we can also remember that the word is like candy too. No matter when we use it, on a good day or a bad day, it always can change things around us. And it reminds me of a story in John. So if you have your Bible and your candy, feel free to read along with us. So in John 11, it talks about a woman named Martha, and she had a brother named Lazarus. Lazarus was feeling really, really sick, so she wrote to Jesus, who was out of town with some of the disciples. And Jesus was really great friends with Lazarus. So when he heard that he was sick and he may not have lived, he knew that he had to do something about it. And so, even though he knew he was going to heal Lazarus, he still knew that people around him felt sad. So, just like candy, Jesus had to be the word to make things better. And it does say in Psalms 34, 18, that the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. And so Jesus would heal Lazarus and be the candy that all of the people in that city, to Martha and the disciples needed to make things better. But we know that Jesus can be candy in our life on good days and on bad days, but especially on days that when we feel sad. Jesus knew what it felt like to be sad too. It said in John 11:35 that Jesus wept when he heard about Lazarus, but he knew that he could be the one, the healer, the comforter to make things better. And so we know that sometimes we can have days where we feel sad and we might need a little candy, but the great thing is that we can find that in the word and we could always go to God. When we're feeling sad and we might be crying, we can go to God and we know that he can be our best friend and our comforter. When we're hurt, we know that he can be our healer. No matter what it is, whatever day it is, but especially when we feel sad. We learned last week that he can be our joy in those sad times. And just like candy, he can always make things just a little bit sweeter. So if you're feeling sad, maybe yesterday or today or maybe tomorrow, I hope that you know that you can always go to God and he can change things. So, can you join me in talking to him? Lord, I just thank you so much that your word is like candy, but even better, and it's so sweet and it can make situations around us change. I thank you that you are our comforter and you are our healer. I thank you that you are also our best friend and that you care about the days when we do feel sad. I thank you that we can talk to you on those days and you could be our joy in those sad times. I ask all of this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you, World Kids. See you later.
this time, show him some love, you know how we do it now, yeah, he is enough, life from above, worthy of wearing a crown, that's right, hey yo, he got the realest, yeah. let's make the whole world feel it, uh-huh. Rubber Jesus is a mission, cup overflow, and now it's time to go fishing, no baloney, me and 40, we'll bad like macaroni, he be the one and only, I just need my guys a homie, flexing like he with me now, living with a super strength, like working out, got a new friend in God, drill pouring out like, oh, Hey families, follow Vibe Worship Kids and stream it anytime from anywhere. Also available on iTunes and YouTube.